I got a question emailed to me asking if there's a way of doing MPC styled note repeat uh, within Groove Agent. So the full version of Groove Agent has this functionality and it's not found in the SE version bundled with Cubase. Uh, if you're not familiar with the note repeat, it actually allows uh, the machine to generate like a series of different rhythmic notes, like 32nd or 64th notes very quickly, just kind of hit a button and it will just kind of repeat the notes at basic rhythmic values. And it's a very popular technique used in R&B music. And we could do this quite easily again in a full version of Groove Agent 4 by going to the Perform tab. So as soon as we come here, we could actually want to activate it. And we can see our note repeat settings here. So we have a number of different note repeat options. And these will be uh, spread across different MIDI keys. So we see that they're going to start at C5 by default, but you can change those values uh, if needed. So a lot of people get confused and they hit the MIDI note and they don't hear anything actually happen or like I don't understand what the note repeat is. So what you have to do is you're going to have a MIDI note that triggers the note repeat scene, but you actually have to hit the note that you want to repeat. So if, if I come here and hit a hi-hat, I can see that on the MPC pad as well as on my piano keyboard on the left hand side of the key editor. But now if I hit that note and hold it down and then C5, which you will see in the upper left hand corner, we could have our note repeat in quarter notes. And if I hit D, it'll give me eighth notes. So you could do stuff like that. If you wanted to change the value of each of these notes for each of the different patterns, we could just come here and be able to adjust the scene and change the rhythmic value like so. By default, these will be synced. If you didn't want them synced, you could just simply turn that on or off. So as we wanted to do this, we can now just trigger these different elements. We could also add different amounts of swing. So let's say if I'm listening to, and I wanted that to swing, each of the patterns can have an independent swing level. So if I come here, let's just add the swing. Now we could also, sometimes it can sound very machine gun-like as we do these note repeats. And we may want some form of variation in velocity. So each of these, if I just will come here, we'll select a particular pattern. We can actually have more than one note. So I could actually just kind of extend this over. And if I wanted to have different patterns, I could just have different velocities. So now, And if I wanted to add swing to that, and let's say if I wanted to repeat that, and let's say I just want to try to see what happens if we reverse that pattern. So you can come up with really interesting different ideas. If you click here in this little arrow, there's actually an entire series of different patterns that you can experiment with and play around with just to try out. So if you want to try out some of the different patterns, now if I hit a different note like my snare, so again, whatever note I hit, I could trigger that and then just have that with my note repeat. Now, if I wanted to vary the velocity of the note repeat, we could actually do that in real time with different MIDI controllers as well. Now, the beauty of this is as we do this, it's actually just gonna, I could record this as MIDI information, but let's play a pattern here. And I'll just do some hi-hat note repeat.
So you can see how flexible that the note repeat functionality is inside of Groove Agent. So you could really come up with very creative drum programming that could save a lot of time instead of manually programming all those different repeat functionalities. So if you're doing a lot of R&B music, this is a great function to have inside of your Groove Agent. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.